Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. I want to show you a little bit more about a little setting that if you didn't know was there, it might be frustrating for you. So come over to Advanced Devices, and here it says Audio Track Monitoring Mutes Playback. And it's called Tape Style. Now, depending on how you're using your system, you may or may not want this engaged. So when it's not on, then it's not muting. The audio track monitoring is not muting playback. So what does that mean? Well, if you're listening through uh, when you're recording something and you're actually monitoring through Studio One, so if I click this monitor button off, you won't hear me talking anymore. Uh, okay, so you can hear me again. So you're actually listening and listening back. The artist is hearing themselves through Studio One. So that means I could put this delay on if I wanted to. If you want to hear what the delay sounds like while they're singing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, yeah. we don't need that here. But uh, let's say you wanted to punch in this last line of this phrase. Okay. Well, sometimes people want to be able to uh, hear themselves singing as they lead into it. I kind of like that sometimes, so this is how it works. When I start, when I hit play, I can still hear myself singing, and I can also hear myself, hear the actual track playing back as well. So they're both being blended together so I can hear both until I start recording. So let's see what that sounds like. Mm, I try to <clears throat> Getting ready to sing. Here we go. So I could get ready, I could cough or whatever, I could sing along and then punch in the section there. So that's with that setting disabled. That's probably how you tend to want it to work. But then let's say you engage that. So now audio track monitoring mutes playback. Okay, we'll apply that. Now when I hit play, I'm going to talk for a second, and when I hit play my voice is going to disappear because once playback starts it mutes. I'm sorry, it doesn't mute me, it mutes the actual playback of the audio file itself. Does that make sense? So now if I want to punch this in and I don't want to hear the previous audio, listen to what happens when I press play. It's there, but it's not being played. So if the artist doesn't want to hear it or you don't want them being blended together, that is what that feature does. Now that's not terribly useful for tracking a vocal. Typically you probably want to hear it at all times unless the vocalist just requests not to. And if they do, now you know how to get rid of it. But a great place where I've used that is if I'm running my mix out through a mixer and then I want to record the actual input from that mixer. Uh, typically I just want to hear what's coming into that input as opposed to hearing uh, what's on the track. So if I've recorded the song on a stereo track and it's my full mix on a stereo track and then I want to punch in a section of that song where I tweaked a level of a vocal let's say um, when I punch that in I just want to hear one or the other I don't want to hear both right that's gonna sound weird having two versions of the mix playing on top of each other so I want to just hear what's what's coming into the track not the audio underneath does that make sense so that way I can kind of have control over that so there you go the biggest reason I wanted to show you this was if in ha perhaps in your default settings, this was turned on, and when you went to record a vocal, you couldn't hear, you couldn't hear the previously recorded part. The way to hear it is to stop recording altogether. So engaging that audio track monitoring will turn the playback on and off. Unless you turn that setting off, which is what I probably have set up 90% of the time, that is not turned on. Okay, hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. See ya.